to your excitement level headed into opening weekend? Yeah, I think we're all really excited. Um, you know, we're all ready to play another team. I think after inter-squad for the last uh, four months, uh, everyone's excited to, you know, uh, finally get to play somebody else. Um, I think I think we can't wait to play four games this weekend. It'll be super exciting. What are the expectations level of this program heading into the season? Oh, I mean, to just build off what we've done the last two seasons. Um, uh, I know I wasn't here two years ago, uh, but I think obviously to win a conference championship and to go uh, play in a, in a regional game are certainly uh, expectations. I think we'd love to get to the 40 win mark uh, this season. I know we've come close uh, the previous two years. I think it's a very uh, realistic goal for us uh, to try and achieve this season. But is this the, is this the year that those benchmarks happen? Uh, I think so. I think we have a very talented team. I know we have a lot of new guys, um, but uh, I think some fresh faces can bring, uh, you know, uh, some success to the program. Um, and yeah, I mean, we've competed hard all fall. Um, great pitching, great hitting, great defense. Uh, I think we could certainly put something together this season. Yeah, I know people around here are excited about the exit uh, velocity when you, when you square up the ball. Uh, people, people get pretty excited about that. How, how do you feel like you're doing in terms of uh, just identifying the, pitch, the good pitches to hit and then laying off the bad pitches. How are you doing with that right now? Yeah, I think uh, Coach Hallmark and Coach Aguayo really put me in a position uh, to succeed uh, this offseason. Uh, just help me kind of figure out what my approach needs to be and, and how I can uh, you know, swing at the strikes and take the balls. Uh, I think that's really paid off uh, this fall and heading into this spring. Um, you know, just from the T work, all the drills they've had me doing uh, to high velocity off the machine, uh, it's all really paid off. I've, I've really seen a lot of success uh, from their coaching. What did you do this summer? Where did you go? Uh, I really uh, stayed at home. I played a little bit just a smaller league in Houston, uh, but I spent, you know, six days a week uh, at my dad's training facility, um, you know, did the drills that, that they had me working on here uh, last fall and last spring, and uh, I really just took it to heart and wanted to get bigger, stronger, and faster, and I've really seen it pay off uh, this fall. So just a lot of work in the cage and in the weight room? Yes, sir. What are your uh, thoughts on your improved ball field this year? Yeah, I think it's fantastic. Uh, I think I think the improvements are great. Uh, you know, I, I think we'll see some more fans at the ballpark this year. Um, we love the support uh, and, and we love the way that the new new stadium looks. I think it's fantastic. How gratifying was that for y'all last year? Uh, you know, the, towards the end of the year, you were getting people that were hanging off the fences out here on a couple of games over a thousand people and you know there was a lot of excitement how gratifying was that that y'all were able to kind of build that uh, reputation a little bit among the local fans yeah i mean that's fantastic i mean that's why you play uh you love to have that kind of excitement around the ballpark uh you get a little more adrenaline uh the games just feel like they mean a little bit more uh, and it was just a fantastic uh atmosphere at the birdbath here uh, especially towards the end of the season last year james you're someone that i'll Aside from being a great ball player, you love your fan sport as well. You've been to Omaha a few times. You, you do a little podcasting yourself here and there. What is it about the game of baseball that, that you've taken to liking as a fan so much? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think ever since I've grown up, baseball's really been the only sport I've played uh, just my whole life. Uh, and I really love it. I love going to games. I love watching. Uh, I try and watch as many games uh, throughout the season as I can. I'm a big Yankees fan, uh, being from New York. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've just I've always been fascinated by the sport. Uh, I love all the intricacies uh, and how complex the game can be if you really dive uh, deeply into it. Um, so yeah, I think I think that's why I love baseball so much. How's that play in the clubhouse? Or being a Yankees fan? Yeah, I mean, I know most of the guys around here are Astros fans. Uh, there's always a little little chirping. The Yankees haven't had a lot of success <laughs> in the past past few years. Um, so. Certainly, certainly catch some flack for that, um, but I still have their back uh, heading into this season. James, where do you see yourself fitting in this year? Uh, I, I'll play wherever Coach Hallmark, Coach Aguayo, and Coach Butler need me to play. Um, you know, I just want to help this team win in any way possible. Um, so, wherever they think uh, I fit in best is, is where I'm happy to play, and uh, I'm happy to do whatever they ask of me. What's the process been like for you and a lot of the guys trying to find those roles with a lot of spots open? Yeah, I mean, you know, just inter-squatting uh, week, week in and week out, you know, playing different positions, uh, seeing, you know, where the defense fits best uh, for nine guys on the field. Uh, I think we have a lot of guys who are very talented and can hit uh, for a lot of power and a lot of average. Um, so it's just about finding nine guys that can uh, defend uh, and put the best position on each week. Thanks, Appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.